What is different? What is different about Miami Vice from all the other police shows? Well, uh, for one thing, we are using uh, video, uh, MTV uh, style uh, video images uh, with uh, rock and roll music, uh, pop tunes, and things like that to help uh, enhance and uh, and tell our stories, to highlight the dramatic moments and uh, some of the more emotional moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you? take time to go out on the streets with a vice officer to see what vice is really like working the streets? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. We continue to do it. It's a continuation of study and study and study. I mean, police work is just like acting. It never, it never ends. We, we research the files. We research the minds of, of the police officers that we work with, our techni technical advisors, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Plus, we did some uh, weapons and tactics training in Los Angeles uh, before we started the actual series. Uh, we worked for uh, a weeks on um, on how to take a building and uh, how to uh, how to utilize certain weapons and things like that. We worked with uh, live ammunition, mm -hmm. so it wasn't uh, that was one of the uh, more exciting parts of our uh, research. Mm -hmm. Is there anything dangerous about doing this show? Yeah, I, we we get into some kind of uh, serious situations all the time. Uh, a lot of people in Miami aren't used to having a film, uh, a film crew down down here and uh, action such as we have in the show on, on the streets. So a lot of times we get a lot of uh, real reactions from uh, yeah. some of the stunts that we're pulling yeah. in the streets. And, and also, uh, the thing I feel about uh, Miami Vice is like the danger zone is the only safe place to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, when you're in the in the the eye of the hurricane, that's what you know. People well, at first, I think there were some reservations, uh, mainly due to the title uh, of our show. But uh, since uh, the airing of the pilot, and even before that, uh, once they got to know us and uh, realized that we weren't here to uh, take advantage of the city, but mm. but in fact to use the city as a as a third character and show the the beauty of Miami, the uh, social uh, structures and intricacies of the city, and uh, and to show also that. Like America, um, Miami's had its problems in the past, and that's no secret to all of us. It's been in the news, but Miami is dealing with those problems in a very professional and real way, and uh, it's a great place to live and work. And yeah, and course, absolutely, yeah. we we don't uh, we don't use violence or or uh, sex for uh, in gratuitous ways. Uh, we we use it when it uh, maintains the dramatic integrity of the of show. The show. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I understand also on the personal side, both of you have more than just a fleeting interest in music. And, of course, Nashville being the country music capital of the world, have you ever partaken of our studio activity here? Sure. I, uh, I, worked, with the yeah, Almond I worked with the Almond Brothers Band. I wrote, um, I wrote some songs for them a few years back on the Enlightened Rogues album. Mm -hmm. Plus, Dickie Betts is a, m one of my closest friends in the world, and uh, we, write, we continue to uh, co-write songs together. In fact, he, I think he's in Nashville now uh, working on an album on his own. I was trying to go up there to give him some help, but I think he can get by without me. <laughs> well, yeah. mostly, uh, yeah, you, you get a lot of help from your agents, and uh, it's pretty much impossible to work without agents. Uh, uh, but uh, you, you end up doing a, most of it on your own. I mean, yeah. Philip and I, we went after these roles.